Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can download and install LibreOffice on Windows 10. So that's been said, let's get started. Let me tell you that if you are looking for free Microsoft Office alternative, then LibreOffice is the best choice. You get all the features which are available on Microsoft Office and it support all the file format. Now to download, just open your browser and search for LibreOffice. Before downloading LibreOffice, let me show you the price of Microsoft Office. Here we have the comparison of Microsoft Office for home and for business. For home, we have two variant. One is family variant and another one is personal variant. So for family variant, it will cost you around 6,200 rupees and for personal variant, it will cost you around 4,900 rupees. Here you will get Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint and other features. But in LibreOffice, you will get all this feature for free. Now to download LibreOffice for free, simply visit LibreOffice.org. Don't worry about the download link. You will get the download link in the description box. Just open this link. So this is the official website from where you can download LibreOffice. Now to download, simply click on this download option. And here simply click on download LibreOffice. And here we have the latest version of LibreOffice, which is 7.1.5. Here simply select your operating system. Let me download it for Windows 64 bit, then click on download. Here you can see it is downloading. It is around 414 MB. So it will take some time to download. Let me complete the download process. If your download doesn't start automatically, then you can click this link to manually download the mirror file. Our download has been completed. Now to install LibreOffice, simply open this downloaded file. Here we have the setup window. Let me minimize the browser. Here we have the installation wizard for LibreOffice 7.1.5.2. Here simply click on next. And here we have two options. One is topical installation and another one is custom installation. Let me select custom installation then click on next. Here we have the installation location where LibreOffice is going to install. If you have a good reason to change this location, then you can change by clicking on this change option. And from here, you can select your location. For now, let me keep it default, then click on next. Here we have a option to set LibreOffice to be the default application for Microsoft Office file type. If you want to open all your Microsoft Office file type using LibreOffice, then simply select this option. I want to open Microsoft Word document, Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, Microsoft PowerPoint presentation and click on next. If you want to create a desktop shortcut for LibreOffice, you can check this box or you can simply uncheck this box. For now, let me check this box then click on install. Here you can see that some files that need to be updated are currently in used. So I'm using OVS. That's why I'm not going to update that file. That's why I'm going to select do not close application because I'm using OVS. But in your case, if you get this type of window when you need to update some of the software, then you can simply click on close the application and attempt to restart them. But in my case, I will simply select this option then click on OK. And here you can see it is installing. It will take some time to install. Let me complete the installation process. And after that, I'll show you how you can use LibreOffice. Our installation has been successfully completed. Now let me click on this finish option. After the installation has been successfully completed, just restart your computer. After restarting your computer, you can use LibreOffice. Here we have the LibreOffice shortcut icon. So this is the interface of LibreOffice. Let me maximize the window. Here we have open file, remote files, recent document, template. Using LibreOffice, we can create Word document, spreadsheet, PowerPoint presentations drawing, mathematical formula and database. If you want to create Word document, then you can simply click on written document. And here you will get all the option to create your Word document. Here we have file option, edit option, view option, insert option, format, style, table and other tools. And here we have the toolbar where you will get all the required tools to create your Word document. Similarly, you can create other documents. For example, if you want to create a Excel sheet, then you can simply select spreadsheet and here we have an option to create Excel document using LibreOffice. Similarly, you can open your PowerPoint presentation tool. For that, simply click on this drop down menu and from here simply click presentations. And here we have our default templates. You can simply select one of these templates or you can even select a blank template. Then click on open. And here we have all the required tools which are needed to create a PowerPoint presentation. 
So this way you can get free Microsoft Office on your Windows 10 computer using LibreOffice. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.